Hello everyone. For a language teacher, working with audio files is a customary activity. So I will show you an easy piece of software that you can use to record and edit your own audio files. So you can go to a browser and look for Audacity. Audacity. So it's this URL, www.audacityteam.org. Click on it. And, and you go to download. See that it is compatible across platforms. There's a Windows version, Mac version, Linux version. For example, you, if you work with Linux, you click on Linux. If you work with Windows, then click on Windows. Okay, so you have the versions history here. And see, we have the installer the installer in a zip file so you, you can try this so that's the 2.4.2 installer includes user manual so just uh, click and download and then you install it the regular way you just click on next and and agree to the terms and install the program in my case i already have installed this program to my computer so i'm going to open the program so audacity looks like this basic buttons a pause play stop backward forward record and, and and many other buttons so first i'm going to show you how you can record your own voice for example if you're interested in recording your own podcast for uh, your students so first we need to record something so we need to use the record button Hello everyone, welcome to English 101. Today we're going to be talking about argumentative essays. Then stop. See that there are two channels, this means it's in stereo. Um, there are uh, some options here. This is the audio track. This, what you're seeing here, is a waveform. I can also change for a spectrogram. A spectrogram is better for working with, with words, for, for linguistic analysis. In, in this case, uh, we have a whole sentence, so it's uh, more complicated to work with a spectrogram. So I'm going to go back to the waveform, and I'm going to play it to see how loud it is. Okay, it's not, not very loud, so you can either highlight or double click to select all of the track. Go to Effect. And see, the first option you have is Amplify. Uh, you, you could try this to turn up the volume, but I, I recommend trying Normalization first, Normalize. Normalize uh, or Normalization is a, a standard audio format. So in theory, if uh, all audio recordings are normalized, they should all have the same volume. That means all music files, uh, radio stations, and TV channels should be using the same volume. Although this is not always true, but normalization is uh, um, a standard, an international standard. So I'm going to normalize, accept. See now that the, the peaks in the recording are, are higher. If you're still not, not satisfied with the volume, then you can also amplify and, and make it louder. Hello everyone, welcome to English 101. Today we're going to be talking about argumentative essays. Okay, right now I'm using my laptop's microphone. So you can see this little peaks here at the, at the end and at the beginning. This is noise. And if, uh, if you're working with headphones, this can be annoying because you, you, you're, you'll be hearing this hissing sound and, and it can be distracting. So there's a way in which you can remove it. So you, uh, you need to um, make sure you identi identify a portion of your recording where there is only silence. It can be at the beginning or at the end. I'm going to try the end. So it's just a portion here. Go to Effect. 
and then we have to go to uh, noise reduction. Uh, step one is obtain noise profile. Click. Uh, nothing happened in theory, but I'm going to highlight all the recording again. Go to effect noise reduction and now accept and see that the peaks are no longer that prominent if i go to undo see noise less noise hello everyone welcome to english 101 today we're going to be talking about argumentative essays okay um, usually a podcast has a musical introduction so I'm going to insert uh, a small musical introduction. In this case, I'm going to do File. And instead of Open, I'm going to Import Audio. Let's look for Folder. I have a, a track here. OK, see that this is a whole song. And this is my initial recording. Since my recording is very short, it, it, it looks very small. Right now, I'm going to click on, I have this little button called silence. Um, if you don't silence it and play, both, both files will be played at the same time. Hello everyone, welcome to... It's going to be a mess. So I'm going to silence, see that uh, it, my initial recording turns gray. Okay, I'm going to uh, play this. Okay, so l let's uh, pretend I'm interested in having that introduction, but I I I'm not going to play a whole song and, and make people wait for my podcast. So I'm going to select just a portion. Here, go to effects. And I'm going to choose, uh, this is called uh, Fade Out. OK. So see that the, the sound will disappear progressively. And I'm going to select the rest because I don't need it. Go to Edit and Cut. Okay, but I still have a problem. My my initial recording is aligned with this. I'm going to unmute it. So I need a special tool. It's this button that has a double arrow. arrow. So click, and now I can move my initial recording. Then you need to go back to the select tool uh, otherwise you will be stuck in stuck in this uh, tool so select you place it here and then I have a musical introduction Okay, I'm noticing a few clicks at the beginning of my recording. So I can use the zoom tool. Okay, let me locate my recording. You can highlight, go to edit, and eliminate. Eliminate and then silence. Uh, the end also seems to have little 
noise so you go eliminate silence audio and still a little click so I can actually cut now if I play it hello everyone welcome to English 101 okay I notice a small peak here actually in the music so I'm going to edit eliminate silence hello everyone okay that's much better you can also use the zoom button again just to make it smaller one more try Okay, my podcast could go on and I could do the, the same at the end to have a musical ending. When I'm satisfied with the final product, I go to File, in this case, Export. I, I have some options MP3, Wave, Aug, and try MP3. And well, you choose a name for your file, you save, and the two uh, tracks will be mixed into one file. And here um, I have the metadata for artist name, track, so uh, you can write your own name here, album title, and, and so on, especially if you're going to upload your podcast to a podcasting website so you can, so your, your followers uh, can easily identify your recordings. So you can also change everything here and then accept and the file will be saved. So I hope you find this tutorial useful to record your own podcasts.